hello friends welcome back to online my shop uh, we're gonna be solving this equation over here so this is x power 4 is equal to 9 so i'm gonna be solving this okay so this is just pretty much cool let me just write solution okay and then of course this is x power 4 is equal to 9 so we want to find out all the roots of this equation okay so to do that i am actually going to rewrite this x power 4 as x power 2 and then all raised to power 2 this is just the same because of course 2 times 2 here will be equal to 4 and then i can also rewrite this 9 here as 3 power 2 okay so i can subtract 3 power 2 from both sides so i'm going to be having x power 2 all raised to power 2 minus 3 power 2 is equal to so 3 power 2 minus 3 power 2 will be equal to 0. So the next thing I want to do is actually to apply the difference of two squares right there. Of course, you can remember that if you have a squared minus b squared, you can actually expand this as a plus b and then, of course, multiply by a minus b. So if I apply that here, where my a in this case is just x power 2 and then b will be equal to 3 okay so that i'm going to be having that this will change to x power 2 and then of course minus 3 multiplied by x power 2 of course plus 3 okay and don't forget this is still equal to zero so uh, then of course i'm going to go ahead to use the zero product rule which basically say that when the product of two or more terms is equal to zero it, it implies that it is either one of the terms is equal to zero or all of the terms are equal to zero so in this case this is actually going to imply that x power 2 minus 3 is equal to zero or x power 2 plus 3 is equal to zero and of course in which case what i have here x power 2 will be equal to 3 okay so that what i have here i can just go ahead to take the square root of both sides so if i do that i'll have x power 2 square root okay is equal to the square root of 3 and of course these two cancel this square root and x will be equal to a plus or minus the square root of 3 okay uh, so you can see i've gotten two values of x right here positive root 3 and then of course negative root 3 okay so the next thing i want to do is to simplify the second uh, case right here which is uh, let me just do that right here which is x squared plus 3 is equal to 0 this is actually going to be giving us a complex root but then that is also going to be the solution to the question we are solving so i'm going to subtract 3 from both sides so i'm going to be having x squared to be equal to negative 3 okay so that the next thing i want to do is to go ahead and then take the square root of both sides so square root of x squared is equal to the square root of negative 3 okay so and of course at this point this uh, two cancels is x this square root and then of course x becomes a plus or minus root negative 3 okay and uh, of course we can also write this as plus or minus root negative 1 multiplied by 3 okay so splitting the uh, uh, square root for both of them i'm going to be having square root of negative 1 multiplied by the square root of 3 okay and at this point you can remember that square root of negative 1 is the complex number i okay so that eventually x now becomes a plus or minus i root 3 okay and this is going to be the second and the third value of x that is going to satisfy the problem we are solving so uh, let me have your thoughts in the comment section 
if you've got any value in the video do not forget to subscribe to our channel turn on the notification icon and then of course like this video and i'll see you guys in my next video bye